All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 26. And in this lesson, we're going to be dividing a unit fraction by a whole number, like that. All right, so we've got a couple of problems here. It says solve, and then support your answer with a model or a tape diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve by using the model or the tape diagram. So we're going to start by drawing a picture of a half. So here we go. Here is our hole, and here is a half. Now it says that we're going to take that half, and we're going to divide it into four pieces. So I'm going to get a blue, and I'm going to cut that into four pieces, which would mean I would cut this half into four pieces also. And so the idea is, the question says, well, one half divided by four. And so what is the size of one of those four little pieces of, a, you know, when you take a half and you cut it up into four little pieces, what's this little piece right here? And the answer is, it's one-eighth. How do we know? Well, because the whole is cut up into eight equal-sized pieces, and when you take a half and cut it up into four, you get one of these little pieces, and that's an eighth, one-eighth. Another way to think of this is you could say, okay, one-half divided by four, and I'm going to, instead of doing it in number form, I'm going to do this in word or unit form. So I'm going to say one-half divided by four. Now when you look at this thing right here, that's one half, but you can also think of that as four eighths is four eighths divided by four. And when you have four divided by four, so four eighths divided by four, that's four divided by four is one eighth. So the answer is one eighth. All right, there you go. So let's draw another one. So let's do this second one over here. So it's one-third divided by six. So I'm going to begin by drawing one-third. And I'm going to make it as big a tape diagram as possible. So here is right there. There's my one-third. And it says cut that one-third into six pieces. And we want to know the size of one of those pieces. So there's six pieces, there's six pieces, and there's six pieces. And we want to know the size of one of those little pieces. So we could see that there's 18 pieces total. And so the answer is 1 18th, 1 out of 18. Now, another way to think of this is you could do it in unit form. One-third divided by six. Now, one-third is right here. Here's one-third. And one-third is the same thing as six eighteenths. And six eighteenths divided by six is equal to 1 18th. E-I-G-H-T-E-E-N-T-H-S. There you go. <laughs> 1 18th, which is written as 1 18th. So there's, there's how you use a tape diagram to model 1 third divided by 6, meaning you start with a third, you chop it up into six pieces, and I want to know the size of 1 of those six pieces, which in this case is one eighteenth. A couple more examples. So at this point, we should be having our students start to see the pattern, that it's fairly quick, that we've got, okay, here's one third, and we're going to chop each of those thirds into five pieces. And we want to know the size of one of those pieces. So one-third 
divided by 5 and 1 third is right here. Boom, there's 1 third. And 1 third is the same thing as 5 fifteenths. 5 fifteenths. So 5 fifteenths divided by 5 is 1 fifteenth. So our answer is 1 fifteenth. Now, the directions say we need to multiply to check to make sure we've done it correctly. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to do 1 15th times 5 and we hope we get 1 3rd. And that's how we do it. You do it in reverse. So we're going to do 1 15th times by 5 and we hope our answer is 1 3rd. So multiplying, we know that 1 times 5 over 15 is how we multiply a fraction by a whole number. So 1 times 5 goes on the numerator, 15 goes on the denominator, and that's equal to 5 fifteenths. And we can see that both 5 and 15 are divisible by 5. So 5 divided by 5 is 1. 15 divided by 5 is 3, and sure enough, that's exactly what we wanted the answer to be. So we know that we are correct. All right, so let's do this other problem, which says 1 eighth divided by 4. So 1 eighth, which means I have to begin by drawing a hole cutting it up into eight pieces. So there's my one-eighth. And now I have to cut each of those eighths into four. Oh my goodness. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh my goodness, I'm squeezing that in. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And of course, the idea is students are going to be able to see the pattern that if you have eight eighths and each eighth is going to be cut into four pieces that means you're going to have 30 seconds you're going to have 32 individual tiny little pieces and of course we want to know the size of one of those little pieces which is of course one thirty second but we should write it out so we have one Eighth, and I'm going to write it out in unit form, 1 eighth divided by 4. And if we want to know what 1 eighth is, 1 eighth is right here. And 1 eighth is 4 pieces. It's a little 4 out of 32. So it's 4 30 seconds. So this is equal to 4. And I'm going to, let's see, how do I write 30 seconds? 30 seconds divided by 4. four thirty seconds? I don't know if there's a THS or if it's just a D. I don't know how to spell that one. Teachers, parents, I want you to look that up because I'm curious now. So we've got four thirty seconds divided by 4 and that equals 1 30 second And that's written as 1 over 32. That's easier for me to do. So now we have to check to make sure we are correct. So we're going to use multiplication. And we're going to do 1 32nd times 4. And we want to see, do we really end up with 1 8th? Because, of course, that's what we're supposed to end up with. So we begin by multiplying. So 1 32nd times 4 gives us 1 times 4 over 32, which is equal to 4 over 32. And we can see that both of those numbers are divisible by 4. The numerator and the denominator are both divisible by 4. 1 divided by, I mean 4 divided by 4 is 1, 32 divided by 4 is 8, so the answer is 1 eighth. And that checks out, because that's exactly what we wanted.
So teachers and parents, I want you to notice, I'm kind of whipping through the, the computations pretty quickly here. That's because uh, as we're doing watching the video for learning, feel free to pause and rewind and rewatch the video over and over and over. Um, I'm not going to pause for you. Your job is to press that pause button and rewind as necessary. And our last problem for this video, it says teams of four are competing in a quarter mile race right here. Teams of four are competing in a quarter mile race. Each runner must run the exact same distance. What's the distance that each teammate must run? Okay, so, well, they're running a quarter mile. So let me draw a quarter mile. So there's a whole mile. Here is our quarter mile. And we have four people running that quarter mile. So each of them are going to run an equal amount. And so the question is, what is that amount right there? Well, we know each quarter is cut into four pieces, making one whole 16 parts, or 16 uh, sixteenths. That's right. 16 sixteenths, and one of those is 1 sixteenth. So we know the person, each person runs 1 sixteenth of a mile. Now if we want to see the mathematics on that, we've got 1 quarter divided by 4. So that's 1 fourth divided by 4. And we can see that 1 fourth is right here. And one fourth is equal to four sixteenths. Four sixteenths divided by four. And four sixteenths divided by four is one sixteenth. And that's our answer, one sixteenth. So the answer is one sixteenth of a mile. Technically, we really should multiply to make sure we're um, we did it correctly, but parents and teachers, I'm going to leave that up to you. And that wraps up our lesson. So there we have it. We have 5th grade, Module 4, Lesson 26, dividing a unit fraction by a whole number.